The Interstate System A group of four-lane limited access highways making their way across America, hitting every major American city and connecting the country up to whoever owns a car. The Interstate System is not very flashy or exciting, and if you don't have a direct interest in roads or geography, you might not really care about it at a surface level, which is why I'm here. There's so much more to it than people think, and it has changed the country in an extreme way, bringing states closer together in a noticeable and needed way. So today I'm going to talk about how the interstate system connected the United States. Speaking of connecting, you go on the internet, I go on the internet, we all go on the internet. It's 2022, a time where the internet is a major part of everyone's day-to-day -day life, which is why this video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. Having a VPN is a very good idea. What if you're traveling abroad and want to watch some Netflix, but your favorite show is blocked in that region? Atlas VPN can make it extremely easy to fix that. Simply turn on the VPN and switch your location to the US of A. Problem solved. And Atlas VPN is running a huge discount as well. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $183 a month with a 30-day money-back guaranteed. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. Alice VPN blocks malicious links, ads, and trackers, and notifies you when someone's attempting to steal your data, helps you to get the best deals while shopping online, and protects all your devices with a single subscription. Once again, right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $183 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. This is a genuinely good product, and by buying it, you're supporting me and getting a great deal. Thank you, Atlas VPN, and enjoy the video. So let's turn back the clock to 1926, a year that made massive strides towards the connection of America's road system. In this year, the U.S. highway system was founded, extending government-run roads all across the country. Now, if you aren't a total geography nerd, you might think this means the interstate system, but it doesn't. The U.S. highway system came 30 years prior, and though it had road standards, they didn't involve limited access or four lanes. They were simply two-lane roads run by the government. Because at this time, people really hadn't heard of freeways, with the first one in the world only opening two years prior in Italy. So that was the first step towards connecting the U.S., but it wasn't what was needed, or what we're talking about in this video. We're talking about the interstate system and how it connected to the United States. To do that, we need to turn forward the clock and move to 1955, a year before the founding of the interstate system. At this point, freeways were all over the U.S., with the Pennsylvania Turnpike, New Jersey Turnpike, as well as many other state-run limited-access highways. The idea of this being widespread sounded utopian, and not possible. At this time, states were accelerating at their own pace, in their own way. They weren't connecting to other states, because why would they? Nowadays, a lot of people would use Iowa, for example, while crossing the country. There aren't that many people specifically going to Iowa, as there are driving through to a further destination. But at this time, Iowa had no reason to care about these cross-country travelers. They only wanted to connect one Iowan city to another, and didn't care if it was well-connected to Nebraska. As well as that, one major pre-interstate problem was the difference in road standards between states. With no freeway standards for lane size, road width, median, or any other part of it, you'd find some states trying a lot harder to make safe and efficient roads. Using hypothetical Iowa as an example again, this state may have had very good road conditions, being well upkept and safe, but Nebraska may have had very low quality roads. This would make it very difficult for travelers when they cross the state lines and have to deal with the terrible roads of one state. Overall pre-interstate America was not very friendly to the road trippers of the country. But this all changed in 1956, when Dwight D. Eisenhower signed the act that would put limited access highways through every state of the Union, hitting every major city in the Union. This was the interstate system, being absolutely massive for the country for so many reasons. There was one standard for every road, and no state was put over another state, because it was run by the government. Well, that's not exactly true because of the obvious corruption. But my point is that these roads were made to connect the country, not any state or city. This made things like cross-country road trips an option, and made trucking a viable option for transportation of goods, a very major thing the interstate system did. The trucking industry was helped by the interstate system in an insane way, because people quickly realized with the amount of time it took to transport things across the country, it was very quick and efficient. Heck, at the time, diesel fuel cost 15 cents per gallon, meaning it wasn't costly either. Nowadays, the trucking industry is worth $732 billion, something that became possible directly because of the interstate system. 
Another thing that became possible was living farther away from city centers, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but it does deserve a mention. See, this in turn helped create suburbia, and the outward expansion of cities with sprawling neighborhoods. You may think this is a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I am not a fan, but I do come from a more rural standpoint than urban, so I leave the commenters to decide on this one. I believe the interstate system is one of the most impressive feats in American history. It makes me so proud of this country. Obviously, it has cons and isn't perfect, but the ways it has helped the country are clear and easy to see, and it has been so important to America since it was created. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the channel members Somnom Woods, JL, Jeremy Crone, Carport, Dominic Psyche, Rosebud4, Aaron Washington, and Bryson. These are the donators on this channel that are really just helping out in an extra way because they like the videos. If you would like to become a member, it is next to the subscribe button or there's a link in the description that will take you straight to it. It's really just a nice way for you to help a little bit more if you really appreciate the content I make. You can trust this money isn't going into like dumb things that I want to buy. It's, it's really all just going into my college savings. So you know it's going to a decent cause. So yeah, next to the subscribe button or in the description. Thank you so much.